Thanks for joining us at the Strategy Institute of Trinidad and Tobago. We are pleased to share who we are, what we want, and how we will achieve it. Enjoy! Our agenda for today includes introductions, a discussion of the purpose and goals of SIT, a review of the current state of Trinidad and Tobago, and a discussion of strategies and transformational initiatives to move the country towards our vision. First, let's talk about why we are here today. The purpose of SIT is to formulate an integrated national development strategy and use it to build an energy force of individuals and civic organizations to guide and propel Trinidad and Tobago towards its vision. Our goal is to build understanding and consensus, create an energy force, and build a new national conversation. Now, let's talk about where we want to be. Our vision for Trinidad and Tobago is for a resilient, innovative, and prosperous people, a society that values social harmony, equity, and justice, and institutions that are quality-led and performing. We want to see a society of social harmony, equity, and justice, a community and partnering spirit, national unity, and safety and security as a people and nation. We want to see representative civic organizations of quality, structured, and participating in national affairs, institutions that are quality-led, built, and performing across society, and an economy that is sound, sustainable, and delivering superior growth and development. We want to see Trinidad and Tobago in tandem with major positive global trends, such as digitization, climate change, and energy transition. We also want to see our land, air, and marine resources sustainably and productively used. Now, let's take a look at where we are currently as a nation. There are certainly positives about Trinidad and Tobago, such as our hydrocarbons, Point Lisas, and a few multinationals, as well as our natural environment and location. We also have legislated fiscal incentives, trade agreements, and low utility costs. Additionally, we have a high standard of living, foreign exchange balances, and accessibility to borrowed funds. We also have a diverse, tolerant, peaceful people and cultures, and relative social harmony. We have professionally trained expertise in many areas and a diaspora of talent. We also have a history of democracy and relative stability in society and legal structure. However, there are also negatives about Trinidad and Tobago. We currently have no national consensus on the way forward and no national integrated strategy, which is a basis for national unity. We also have superficial and fragmented dialogue of major national issues and inadequate approaches to planning. Additionally, we have endemic corruption and waste, lack of focus on national priorities, poor progress, and achievements. We also have a large amount of stranded assets and a lack of leverage of major national assets, as well as an underperforming and deteriorating economy. We also see a deterioration of society, people, values, accountability, economy, and institutions, which is a failure of hope. We have uninformed, reactive, and amateurish leadership and governance across sectors. We also have fragmentation across society, tribalism, weak partnering with communities, and poor participation in national affairs. Lastly, we have a poor sense of safety and security of people and nation. So, how do we get to where we want to be? That's where our integrated strategy comes in. Our integrated strategy includes focuses on people and society development, security and safety of the people and nation, economic transformation and development, harnessing digitization to support social, economic, and technological development, effective utilization and management of land, air, and marine resources, nationwide quality institutions, structured and quality national leadership and governance, and institutionalizing quality national strategy and development planning. Our first focus, people and society development and transformation, includes several transformational initiatives. One of these initiatives is universal testing and treatment, which focuses on neurodevelopmental, physical, mental, and social well-being, as well as aptitude assessment for children. We also plan to provide parental training for all parents, guardians, and caregivers to ensure that children are receiving the best possible care. Our goal is to create a quality education system that is focused on achieving the defined vision for our children. 
Additionally, we plan to implement targeted programs for specific vulnerable groups in society to ensure that they are receiving the support they need. Another initiative under this focus is a personal wellness slash well-being focus, which includes neurodevelopmental, physical, mental, social well-being, and general health. We also plan to develop quality slash world-class tertiary health services to ensure that everyone has access to the best possible medical care. Additionally, we plan to implement PPPP, Public-Private People Partnership, risk sharing and quality models for public housing provision to ensure that everyone has access to affordable and quality housing. Lastly, we plan to develop quality and structured civic institutions and representative civic organizations with an emphasis on people participation to give the people in society a real stake in the direction of our country. Our second focus, security and safety of the people and nation, includes several initiatives to ensure the safety and security of our citizens and our nation as a whole. One of these initiatives is to enhance and modernize the national security architecture, including the police force and the military. Additionally, we plan to implement community policing initiatives to ensure that the police are working closely with the community to address crime and safety concerns. We also plan to implement a comprehensive crime reduction strategy that includes interventions at the community level, as well as harsher penalties for repeat offenders. Our third focus, economic transformation and development, includes several initiatives to promote economic growth and development. One of these initiatives is to develop a comprehensive export strategy to promote the export of Trinidad and Tobago's products and services. Additionally, we plan to implement a tourism development strategy that promotes Trinidad and Tobago as a destination for tourists. We also plan to implement a national industrial strategy that promotes the development of key industries such as manufacturing, agriculture, and services. Additionally, we plan to implement a comprehensive energy strategy that promotes the development of renewable energy sources and energy efficiency. Our fourth focus, Harnessing digitization to support social, economic, and technological development includes several initiatives to promote the use of technology in Trinidad and Tobago. One of these initiatives is to develop a national digital strategy that promotes the use of technology in government, education, and business. Additionally, we plan to implement a national e-commerce strategy that promotes the use of technology in commerce. We also plan to implement a national e-health strategy that promotes the use of technology in healthcare. Our fifth focus, effective utilization and management of land, air, and marine resources, includes several initiatives to promote the sustainable use of Trinidad and Tobago's natural resources. One of these initiatives is to develop a comprehensive land use strategy that promotes the sustainable use of land resources. Additionally, we plan to implement a comprehensive air and water quality strategy that promotes the sustainable use of air and water resources. We also plan to implement a comprehensive marine resources strategy that promotes the sustainable use of marine resources. Our sixth focus, nationwide quality institutions, operations, and projects, includes several initiatives to promote the development of quality institutions in Trinidad and Tobago. One of these initiatives is to develop a national quality institution strategy that promotes the development of quality institutions in government, education, and business. Additionally, we plan to implement a national operations strategy that promotes the effective management and execution of day-to-day -day operations across all sectors of society. This includes the development of standard operating procedures, training programs, and performance management systems to ensure that all operations are being executed efficiently and effectively. The National Operations Strategy will also include the implementation of technology solutions to automate and streamline operations, reducing human error and increasing productivity. The goal is to ensure that all operations are aligned with the overall vision and strategy of the country and that they are contributing towards the achievement of our national goals and objectives. One of these initiatives is to implement a comprehensive institutional reform strategy that promotes the development of effective and efficient institutions. This includes reforms in the public service, judiciary, and other key institutions. Additionally, we plan to implement a comprehensive project management strategy that promotes the effective planning and execution of major national projects. 
This includes the development of project management capabilities in government and the private sector. Our seventh focus, Structured and Quality National Leadership and Governance, includes several initiatives to promote the development of quality leadership and governance in Trinidad and Tobago. One of these initiatives is to implement a comprehensive leadership development strategy that promotes the development of quality leaders in government, the private sector, and civil society. Additionally, we plan to implement a comprehensive governance reform strategy that promotes the development of effective and efficient governance mechanisms. This includes reforms in the electoral system, public procurement, and other key areas. Lastly, our eighth focus, Institutionalizing Quality National Strategy and Development Planning, includes several initiatives to promote the development of effective and efficient planning mechanisms in Trinidad and Tobago. One of these initiatives is to implement a comprehensive national strategy and development planning framework that promotes the development of long-term and medium-term plans. Additionally, we plan to implement a comprehensive monitoring and evaluation framework that promotes the effective monitoring and evaluation of national development plans. In conclusion, the Strategy Institute of Trinidad and Tobago Limited SIT, is committed to working towards the development of an integrated national development strategy that will guide and propel Trinidad and Tobago towards its vision of a resilient, innovative, and prosperous people, a society that values social harmony, equity, and justice, and institutions that are quality-led in performing. We believe that by focusing on people and society development, security and safety of the people and nation, economic transformation and development, harnessing digitization, effective resource management, nationwide quality institutions, structured and quality national leadership and governance, and institutionalizing quality national strategy and development planning. We can achieve our goal of building a new national conversation and creating an energy force that will guide Trinidad and Tobago towards its vision. We welcome your feedback and participation in this important national effort. It's important to note that the initiatives and focus areas outlined in our integrated strategy are not exhaustive and are constantly being reviewed, updated, and refined. The execution of these initiatives will require the participation, support, and commitment from all sectors of society, including the government, private sector, civil society, and the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago. In order to ensure the success of these initiatives and the overall integrated strategy, SIT will also be working on building a strong and effective monitoring and evaluation system to track progress and identify areas that need improvement. Additionally, SIT will be working on building a strong communication and dissemination strategy to keep all stakeholders informed and engaged in the process. We also recognize that the implementation of these initiatives will require significant resources, both financial and human. SIT will be working with government, private sector, and international partners to secure the necessary resources and support to execute the initiatives and achieve our vision. In conclusion, we believe that by working together, we can make Trinidad and Tobago a better place for all of its citizens. We look forward to working with all of you to achieve this goal, and we thank you for your participation. To find out more about SIT or to schedule a more comprehensive seminar, call or message our secretariat at 1-868-733-6107 or email strategyinstitutet at gmail.com. You can also contact us on Facebook at Strategy Institute of Trinidad and Tobago or Instagram at Strategy Institute TT.